stock bore here, 110. Self taking it apart. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yep, she's a ripper, she's a quiet one. Quick test. We're gonna do a little test bone stock. And then we're gonna see how it is with the 143. We got a bog. We got a bog. <laughs> 110 power here. First second with the click on it. Dude, your chain must be loose. Must be. They hear the making the clicky noise? Let me do one little quick full shot. Here. Test the power. <laughs> You're gonna want second, then first is gonna. You want second if you're gonna use the foot. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. We missed it. That was a close call. I was only using the front brake and it locked up inside the slide. There's that baseline. Give it a little stab. Little bog. I think that's a rich bog, to be honest. Getting it ripped apart. Gonna start take the exhaust off, drain out the oil, pop off the gas tank, take the old carburetor off, all that stuff, and then go ahead and pull the top end off. Got all the parts over here. We got the cylinder, BBRU flow, VM26 606 carburetor, foam filter, which we aren't going to be using, and then the piston, 60 millimeter, throttle cable, gaskets, this gasket, which we won't be using, and then the TB intake kit for the 26 millimeter carb forward facing where we at what do you need drain the oil out on those pliers, just that. gas tank off getting two for the camera the camera see this is why a stock pipe is no good when you do a big bore kit look at that thing can't fit my pinky in that hole dude I might have to put my drill in that That's hole insane you don't even waste your time just well we're gonna this see. shitter until you get a bbr pipe or another good pipe with that fmf hanging right up there on my wall I'm gonna cut this thing up though and use this on the MM12P FMF 4.1. Some people would be pissed to see me cut that thing up. Not the first time. You know, all right, let's drain the oil out of this bad boy. Put these out in here so you don't lose them. So shoot. We got a new gasket here, so we don't really worry about that old one junk. Well, I was actually gonna run it. All right, here comes the top end. We got the carb off, everything else timing. Set and see how that piston looks. Yes, there goes the chain. That's all right. Fell on that feed hole there. Look at that piston. How many hours on this thing? Uh, a year's worth of putting and beating. Uh -huh. uh, I would say at least 40. How's the head look? Let me see that side. Definitely burning some oil. <laughs> a fat. Bad. One or the other. Achievement. Alright. 
pop that thing up on the bench and then go ahead and rip this off. Our base gaskets usually get stuck on there. Is there any other bolts? No, nah, nothing. Oh, that's the fucking There she shot. is. Dude, look at all the fucking dirt. <laughs> right. we'll, we'll move that in a sec. All right, now this is the piston, the moment of truth. Yeah, rip it right off. The guide? Do I just pull the guide out? I just pull the whole thing right off right now. You'll be good. There you go. That skirt got some wear. She was due for a top end almost. That baby piston right there. Almost fits through the... Huh. Fenders and the, the YX head. one. Nope. There it is. There's the old piston right there. Got that thing popped off. Nice TD parts one installed. There's the scratch marks in TDC. Look at the little baby relief valves in it too. It's funny. So yeah, she was at top dead center all the way up. Boom. Dude, look at how much the skirt's worn from the black coating. Right. Check out the cylinder. See how the cylinder looks. Definitely beat, bro. Not crossing down in there, but. All right, we got the old piston out right here. Doesn't look too bad. Got the new piston here. Gonna go ahead and install the rings. The top ring is the shiny one. You want to face it with the markings up. It should say TB. You get your second ring, which is the black one. Markings go up, TB. Then your two bottoms. Got the new piston on, intake, facing towards the intake side right there. Got the rings offset. Make sure you put the circ clip facing this way, the open end covered. Now we're going to clean off the base gasket now that we got that thing in there. Don't want to damage the piston. Yeah, pull that thing out of there. I don't want the piston smashing off the thing. Keep her nice and mint. Yeah, we'll give it a little shot of brakes. So there she is, nice and cleaned off. There's a cylinder right there, ready to go on. Right. So here's the cylinder. Put a little bit of oil on my finger and just rub this on in here. Nothing crazy. You don't need a lot, just so it's... Yeah, there's the TB part cylinder. Or is it marked 143 somewhere on here? Ain't mine, but there it is, 143 on the cylinder. Toss that thing on. There's the gaskets, part number right there. Base gasket, head gasket. Cylinder's ready to go. Got a little bit of oil on there, so the piston slides on nice and easy. Got this surface cleaned off, wiped off the timing changer so it doesn't drip on the new gasket before we torque it down. That's it, double check, make sure you got the intake facing the intake, offset your rings and you're good to go. All right, all the rings are in. Make sure the timing chain and the pieces That's are That's fine on. right there. Yeah. Hold that the up in there. Piston just went in a little bit. But... Catch those dowels too, right? Yep. All right, perfect. Fuck, the piston went down. We're off top dead set. Yeah, it's the the motor cranked over. But if you wanted to, you can hold that right there and go slow. Oop. You're holding it, right? Cool. Stop right there. Yeah. I want to pull it back a little bit. Just kicks that. The electric going. starter fucks you on that one. Nothing but, right there it is. yeah, well, I'll just leave it for now. Is that on now? Time to throw the other gasket. Throw the head on. This is that top dead. Whoa. Got the top dead center. Two dowel pins on there. Look at that piston looks nice. I actually went back a little bit, but we'll get it back to top Ooh, dead center when we put the head on. That doesn't go like that for sure. Don't nope, flip it. Yep, there yeah. you go. And don't forget the uh chicken. Nice, now we'll go ahead and check the head out, clean the bottom of this off real quick. Let me see, I can see how she was looking. Okay, head gets slid on now. She got the base gasket, the two dowel pins I'm holding in. The chain right here. Let me just get my fingers out of the way. Give me one second. Oh, they barely fit. A little bit more. Boop, boop, boop. Let me look at the lower one with the dowel pins not in. Hold on, don't pull me yet. The lower one? The dowel oh, pin. Don't tell me it's like this. Oh, there we go. All right, I was going to say. No, no, I was just saying. Let me just hit that. Here she goes. So, She's on. TDC coming right up. Nice. 
grab the first one right there. Yeah, exactly. Here's the horse. This one, copper washer goes at the bottom right here. You got it. Clean this off. Mess. Bro, it's a full one forty three. Just like that, we got a one forty three. Okay, one forty three. Just go hand tight with those for now. And yeah, oh yeah. The other two as well on the inside. All right, so we got the cylinder head on. The feed line on, we're gonna torque it to 15 foot pounds. I usually just go, right, yeah. I'm not gonna hit it one to 15. I'm gonna exactly. Get They're all little, hand tight, I'm gonna quarter turn them at a time. Give so her get, a little loving. Yeah. Grab both here for the exhaust. Fifteen foot pounds, baby. Check. It's a stud, don't worry. Yeah, that's it. See how the studs just move? That's just, yeah. Look, you can see the bolt. Yep. That's crazy. That's why I don't like to go too crazy. That's 15, 16, I'm like. 15's funny. There you go. That's 15 on the head studs. Set down nice. Then you're going to want to make sure you're hand tight on the two 10 millimeter bolts on the inside. Yeah, these are good. They, they dry it. down nice. How do we. Alright, got the intake manifold on. That's the one right there. So you're gonna use stud on one side and the Allen head on the other side. And just tighten that baby down. It's kind of a pain to get this in, but you have to just work with it. You'll get it in. All right, turn her over. Oop. She's on timed up. Timing's on, turning over nice. Spark plug's in there too. That's it. Got the BBRU flow on here with the 26 millimeter attachment. Make sure you don't over tighten these. You suck dirt because this is only plastic, so you're not gonna go crazy on that. And then I'm gonna throw some jet jets in this carb. I think it comes with a 22.5 and a 190 out of the box, but we're gonna go with the I think a 165 because he's still got the stock pipe on there right now. So until he gets a BBR pipe, we're gonna leave the 190 out. Got the bracket right here. We'll be using with this. That's it. Close to firing this thing up. It's yeah, a little loose. It's all right. Tight. Okay. Slug that down. Plug it back in there. Skip three bolts. All right, tensioner is tight. Put these. So we get the stock bore pipe going back on, fully corked up. No choice for now. Twenty-two point five pilot and one sixty-five main for now. See where we are on the air screw once you put it all together, but. Go ahead and get the pipe back on and wrap this thing up. Put some oil in it. Start it up. See what we got. Tighten up the skid plate bolts. Double check everything. Make sure she's about to be ripping. U flow is about to go on. Pop the carb on there. Tighten it up. We got the U flow on. So this is a 2023. It looks like the coil is just going to hit right here. So we're going to do something different with this. So it's sitting right on there, but. Can put that somewhere else even if we made like another bracket and had it up over here but that's how that's gonna sit on there and then you just connect that piece to right there with the shroud bracket that bbr supplies comes pretty close to this part but pretty much perfect so what we'll do is we'll just make a bracket or secure this coil somewhere else should be good to go he's working on the throttle cable putting that in right now New flow is nice and tight in there. Pretty close to firing this little ripper up. It's dark out now. It's almost 11 o'clock, but no choice. We're going to fire it up for you. You want to hear it too. Put some oil in it. Go over everything one more time. And that's it. When there's not many parts left on the bench, you know you're almost done. Yeah, that's for the coil. Oh. Right. fill her up with oil so for the u-flow on the 2023 we're going to put the tank on but for now i just zip tied it right here because if you bolt it any which way it's literally pushing on the air filter so we're gonna run it like that for now it's getting late we want to start this thing up like i said we got i think 22.5 for the pilot jet and 165 for the main jet clips in the middle i went one and a half out on the air screw for the first start. Turn the idle up just a little bit. And um, I'm going to give her hell and see what happens. Good 
grab the gas tank and put the plastics back on. That's it, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big boy, baby. So what we did was run the fuel line underneath the frame and then around. Come around this side. It's going to be a tight fit, but she'll make it good on there. Is that there? A little needle nose trick here. Oh, ripping noses. <laughs> so it's gonna be. That's oh, gonna work for now. You can kind of pop it up all over if you want. Make sure the feet, throttle cable is not touching anything. That's how it goes, guys. Just like that. U flows on. Should I open the fuel? Come around this side. Want to stand the bike up? Yeah. Let's see if we get a better shot. So see we. If we put the coil, it would have been pushing it way down under here to get that hole. So what we did for now is just zip tie it like that, and the filter is going to stop it. It's not, nothing's going to be a problem, but we'll make a bracket if we can after right here. Take that take bolt that out. We'll make a bracket the, the, or something. Exactly. In the future, but for now, fire this thing up. Should be good to go. Gas capper. Shoot, shoot. Put the throttle cable through the little holder there, put the bracket back on for the shroud, lock that thing down, he's almost ready to fire up, alright so she's back together, he's just working on that last bolt, and strip her out, that's it, I'm gonna fire this thing up, 11.30 at night, let the neighbors know, we're testing out the new graphics kit, we'll tell them, fire it up right off the limiter, so there we go, we got the intake motor full intake manny in there, Carbs on there, nice and tight. Exhaust rattling off. Anybody got a D3 for sale, let me know. We get D3 on this thing or something. She's a ripper, though. Let's fire this thing up. Come on, man. How are we doing? How are we doing? Race ready yet? Just about. Look at this eBay flip peg mount. Oh, might have to get a nice kinetic mount for this thing. This is tight. Dude, we're dying. Tight. Let's lock it in. T boat. We're ready for it, yeah. I have the choke on. You're good, you're good. Don't shut it off. Oh, I just, Start I it up. I thought you said shut it off. No. Alright, now just let it idle just like that. We'll give her a first heat cycle. That's it right there, guys. 143 kit purring like a kitten. Do the first heat cycle, let it warm up, let it cool down. But yeah, man. BBR U flow. Might have to wait till tomorrow to rip it, but maybe not. You got a headlight on this thing, too? Yeah, buddy. Look at that, dude. Like the Yana. So we can ride it. We have to see the power difference. start kick her idle down just a bit not bad for the first start though smooth healthy. yes healthy nice and quiet we just gotta get a pipe on there nice d3 and this thing's gonna be ripping Shut her down. Definitely. Don't bog you her out. You think that's uh, lean? Or well, you you're just giving it a shit fuck ton of gas. There she is, though. Not bad right there. The neighbors are having a party. No oil leaking. That's a good sign. Don't forget, you're going to have to put a bolt in there after. But yeah, yeah. that's it right there. Second start. Fire right up. Put the headlight on. Go easy, hold it wide right away. It's so funny, you can hear the U-Flow just barking. Tell it's got more of a bark. 
bark to it. So funny. See how it will rev right up now, that U flow? Yeah, we'll mess with another day, but that's it for now, man. She's a runner. That's rich. So that's a wrap on this one. 143 kit installed. Another day we'll go and we'll test this thing out and rejet it, get it dialed in. But for now, not too bad. Sounded really good. U flow fit good. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe, share it with a friend, like, comment, and catch us on the next one. We'll be ripping this thing. We'll get it out there and test it out. Now he's ready for the stock mod class, right? There you go. Mod. Stock mod, baby. Coming out different. Just need the D3 pipe on there. Yeah, and we're locked in. Yep, I gave you some tires. Won those at the last event. So put some new tires on. Be ready to rip.